Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ken and today we're going to be discussing about the difference between marketing and sales. Uh, I know a lot of people are confused about the difference between marketing and sales and they usually put together like marketing and sales department, for example, in corporates. But they are actually two very different uh, entity and they do two different things. To put it in the context, just, just imagine this. Marketing, sales, and what, what they do is, uh, imagine sales are the one that get all those people to, to buy directly, to sign contract whatsoever. So that's what the sales team do in, in general, to convert prospect into sales. Into, to, I mean, that's what sales team do, to convert uh, prospect into revenue, right? And what does marketing do? So marketing, they have a lot of activities to bring all these prospects to the sales team. So they are the, the bridge. So basically the process is different. It'll be marketing first, sales, then fulfillment or, or operation support, things like that. So this is in terms of the, the, the whole the whole sales process when you think. Not, not sales process, the, the whole acqu customer acquisition process. So what happened is uh, marketing efforts are mostly done to... That's why we don't... Uh, if you ask marketers to do sales, unless they are trained in sales, then... Yeah, they can do sales, but most of the time they don't. So they are mostly trained in marketing. Then marketing is, is involving things like lead generation, like what I'm doing, branding, uh, market research, our customer avatar, or maybe a like advertising campaign. So all, all these kind of effort to bring interest, to bring people in, just to bring people in, uh, to create interest, to make them warm towards your offer and things like that to convert cold leads into warm leads, to find cold leads, or maybe to... Like, like for example, you're doing insurance. Uh, when, when you approach someone, it, 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 it can be said as you're doing sales, okay? But the process of getting of getting this person, for example, you may, you may, you may check your list. These are all, all a marketing process. Marketing process is how you're going to get the, the phone number or the information where your sales team can call. So sales team, their job is just to contact them, to call, to close. Marketing is to get them interested into your offer, bring them in so the sales guy can close. So marketing processes will be different as well compared to sales processes. So uh, some, some of our customers, they expect to do end-to-end, -end, as in do marketing all the way to sales, where we are able to convert, get money, get revenue straight away. But it is not it's, it is possible if a funnel is done, right? That's why e-commerce is so big right now because you don't need a salesman to do for you. You have your website or whatsoever to sell for you 24 hours, even while you're asleep. But the but that is still a different process. That means the website itself is a salesman. The copy itself is a salesman. So that's that's in terms of different intent and things like that. But in normal businesses, <coughs> traditional businesses, service businesses, you still need to do sales one on one. And sales there's a there's a few few processes you can do. Um, where you can do it. Uh, there's a few processes you can do where uh, you can do it being there. Uh, where you're present to do one-on-one. -on -one. Oh yeah, so those sales in, in, in general is like this. One-to-one, -one, which is uh, you got a lead and then you call one-to-one -one, or you meet up one-to-one face-to-face or, or whatsoever. So it's one-to-one. One-to-many is those that are doing like previews, uh, previews, training, yeah, those those kind of things where you have to be there and then you talk to multiple people. That's called one-to-many. So there's three methods. One-to-one, one-to-many. -one, one -to then the other one is zero-to-many. So this is a webinar funnel where if you do like, like automated webinar, you don't have to be there. And this, but but it still, it is still require your presence in a way because you still need to record the webinar and you need to know what to say. Because sales is a pro different process by itself. Because for marketing, the, the main idea is get people interested, bring them into your offer. And then, yeah, when they, when they come to the offer, they are already a ready buyer. So this is the, the kind of psychology that we play as, as a marketing people to, to make sure they are warm enough that when the sales guy just did a minor push, they have already the branding, they are already aware of your, about your brand, they're already there to buy. And so the sales guy had close and convert to, to convert to convert to money, revenue, and things like that. And those sales team, they have their own process to convert these people as well. For example, their negotiation skills, how, how they look at you, how to fulfill your needs, what kind of what kind of offer they can give you in, to better fulfill the, the prospect's needs. But that's different. That's different from 
from wants to get attention and interest, and the other one to really close the prospect. So that's a there's a big difference between uh, marketing and sales. Uh, it is it actually supposed to be managed by two different teams. Of course, when you are in big company, you can have one head to manage both marketing and sales. But if the the head is always focusing on sales, they, they are not able to focus on marketing side. You will see that there are a lot of problem when the big companies trying to do like branding and things like that because they don't see revenue straight away. Uh, for marketing. Well, most for cutting, they, they just bring interest and then come give you a warm prospect and your sales team has to close it. And a lot a lot of when, when they take up a role, if they are a salesperson, they take up as a role of marketing and sales, they expect marketing team to directly when people come in, they they come in with their cut or their cash ready. But that's not right. It's actually supposed to be done by two separate teams because it's a two different skill set. It's a two different skill set of you getting interest of, of you getting their interest, getting them ready to buy, getting them ready to buy, and another skill set to make them buy. It's two different skill sets. Of course, you, you know people that can do both. Uh, like, like, like those platform closers, yes, sometimes they do their own marketing to bring people in and they do their own closing. Some companies do that. However, if you notice like a like huge event company, end of the day, they will only choose one thing to do, whether they bring in people or they give talk. Because if, if you want to bring in people and at the same time give talk to sell, it, the, the sales is not there because the, the, the selling process is a process that it is also learnable, but it is something that you need to be practicing to be as niche as that, need to be niche at because if you try to do a lot of things, you won't be good at any one of those things. Yeah. So actually it's, it's two different entity and whoever that's taking up the marketing and sales role, uh, please take note on that because marketing is the 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 the, 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 the area of uh, the KPI and things like that are a bit different. They count a lot of uh, the, the leads what's the cost per lease and things like that, uh, what's the reach, what's the awareness, when they come in, whether whatever effort that they do increases the percentage of ROI, in percentage of uh, conversion. We are all counting about percentage and then we count the ROI as well. So um, based on the marketing effort, how many people come in, how many converted and then become sales. Because uh, a lot of people blame marketing for not able to bring in enough, or bring in qualified one. Yes, it's true as well. But you have to look in the sales part as well because the sales part are the one that actually do a closing. So that's the, that's the difference between marketing and sales. I know it's a long winded. It's been repeating. Same thing, marketing are, for example, like event marketing is like those people that bring the bring the people into the event. Sales is the, those that are selling at, or at the backstage trying to make them buy directly. So it's two different things. You need that two different separate teams to do together. Of course, they can overlap as well. <coughs> Some people do both. But at the end of the day, the, the skill sets needed are different. Just like I, I, I did run the event before, uh, running an ad to bring people in is... Well, of course, it, you you know your cost, cost per lead and things like that. Uh, those those numbers are pretty steady and, and as in local market, uh, it may go vary a bit. But we know that the more money you come in, definitely more leads come in, okay? And I try to be in a selling table as well and I, I find that me having problems trying to convert people to buy. Because I, I don't have the... I don't, I'm not really good in having the closing skills yet. But if I, if I were to focus in, in, in closing, which I did after that, I follow up and I just do, I don't I don't bother about the seat arrangement and things like that. I just focus on calling, trying to close them. I find that it is, it is uh, easier, not to say easier, I mean, as in more focused. Because like I mentioned, it's two different skills and you have to change your mind if you want to go both, both ways. And for business owner, of course, you have to be sales minded and marketing minded to do branding so that when people come into you, you are able to sell it easily, easier. So that's why a lot of them put them together, but actually it's two different process. Marketing is earlier process and as well as uh, nurturing the leads after the sales. And well, sales also, they got sales support and things like that. They, they started putting in marketing, under marketing, but marketing have ways to nurture them as well. But to, but that is different. Uh, you don't worry about the back end side because the back end side, there are a lot of terms that you can use, but in terms of front end, bringing customer in, that's the two major difference. Marketing, bring in leads and prospect, sales, close them to convert leads and prospect into money. So that's the difference, the main difference between marketing and sales. Hope that whatever I share today is helpful to you. Um, how I got this inspiration to, to, to bring this out because I was in an event just now, a preview just now, and there's this question being brought up. It's the same thing, right? But it's not. And he explained it correctly, and this is for me <coughs> saying it correctly as well. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so if you like what I share, do like my video and support this channel by subscribing to the channel. And I'll talk to you in my next video.